How much can a bear bear bear? What are homonyms and homophones? Written by Brian P. Cleary and illustrated by Brian Gable. Homonyms are words that sound and also look alike, but they have different meanings, as in, can you pass that can, Mike? Or, may I sail with you in May? and coast all along the coast? These words are a blast if you say them quite fast, like, why don't we toast with some toast? A light may be light like a small paper kite. A trunk can be found in a trunk. An inchworm or snail could scale a scale. A lean cat could lean on a skunk. But punch cannot punch, and at breakfast or lunch, your jam cannot jam on a trumpet. A bowl cannot bowl, but a roll might just roll if it's not made as flat as a crumpet. Now, some words sound identical, but are spelled in different ways. These words are known as homophones, like praise and praise and praise. Though homophones have matching sounds, their meanings aren't the same. And there isn't any question, they're as fun as any game. A bee can be, a flea can flee, a burrow can burrow a hole. A horse can get hoarse from talking, of course, a you could take you on a stroll. A fowl can be foul, a toad can be toad, an air mustn't air in the air. A whale can well, a male can male, a pair might just pair a big pair. A bust can be bust by a driver you trust, and berry can bury a berry. A band could be banned if they get out of hand, and Mary, who's Mary, can marry. But the sea cannot see, and it's clear as can be that a ball will not ball when it's rolled. A moose has no use for a bottle of moose, and a creek doesn't creak when it's old. But a bear should be bear, and it wouldn't be rare if wood would be kept in a shed. A Sioux might not sue if he knew that the new that he bought wasn't new, like you said. My niece could see Greece, both in Greece and in Nice. A check would be writing a check. A maid could be made to be very afraid when she heard a big herd on the deck. You could search the whole world while it spun and it whirled in each inn and beneath every stone, and you'd find no more pleasures than these great verbal treasures, the homonym and homophone. So, what are homonyms and homophones? Do you know? the end. This read aloud has been brought to you by Time to Read to Us. Hit the subscribe button for more kid-friendly read alouds. Thanks for watching!